Today, I'm showing you guys 10 amazing on-the-go keto snack ideas from Whole Foods that are great for work, for school, for travel, and even for sneaking into the movie theater. Now, if you're part of the keto police and you're looking for strictly clean keto snack ideas, my snack hauls are probably not for you. That being said, I usually feature a lot of clean keto snacks when I do these hauls, and that's especially true in today's keto snack haul from Whole Foods. Whole Foods has not only a ton of keto snacks, but a ton of clean keto snack ideas. So if you're looking for clean keto snacks, Whole Foods is probably the place for you. Anyways, let's get into it and I'll show you what I think are 10 of the best keto snacks you'll find at Whole Foods. So the first keto snack idea that I have for you from Whole Foods is moon cheese. As you guys know, I love crunchy keto snacks and moon cheese is just that. It's crunchy, it's cheesy, it's salty. Uh, there's a lot to love about moon cheese. Number one, it only has three ingredients, at least this one does, cheese, jalapenos, and salt. So that makes it a very clean keto snack idea. Number two, the macros on moon cheese, pretty awesome. Every serving is only 70 calories, five grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, which is amazing, and five grams of protein. And number three, there's no refrigeration necessary to moon cheese, so you can bring this with you pretty much anywhere. It makes just an awesome on-the-go keto snack idea. That being said, the price on each one of these is $3.50 at Whole Foods. Crunchy, cheesy, salty, <clears throat> and even a little spicy. At the end, you get this nice pepper jack flavor on the back of your tongue and in your throat. Ah, oh, the stuff, it's so, so good. So the next keto snack idea that I have for you is another crunchy keto snack idea, and that is the epic oven baked pork rinds. This is the pink Himalayan sea salt flavor, and the only ingredients to the bag is pork skins and salt. So if you're looking for clean keto snacks, this is another two ingredient clean keto snack idea. And as far as the macros go, every serving is 70 calories, two and a half grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, so another carb-free keto snack, and 11 grams of protein. So yes, the protein is a bit high compared to the fat there, but all you have to do is dip it in some of this kava crazy feta dip, and the ratio gets a lot, lot better. By the way, this is totally a clean keto dip option as well. The only ingredients in here, feta cheese, olive oil, salt, jalapenos, and onions. That's all that's in this dip. It's five grams of fat per serving, and there's less than one gram of carbs in every serving as well. So just pair those pork rinds up with the kava feta dip. You are in some keto business here, or you could pair those pork rinds up with some spicy guacamole. They sell these individual packages, so this is great for portion control, and these can also help adjust those macro ratios a little bit more in favor of the keto diet. So in every package of the guacamole, you're getting 10 grams of fat, five grams of carbs, three of which is fiber though, so that's two net carbs and one gram of protein. So just dip those pork rinds in either the guacamole or the crazy feta dip, and you've got yourself an amazing keto snack idea with really great keto ratios. I love the smell of pork rinds. That fatty, salty smell that they have. Mm, I love it. Crunchy buttery, melt in your mouth, salty deliciousness. That is my summation of the epic oven baked pork rinds. They are so good, so good. By the way, I'm pretty sure I didn't say how much these cost. These are $3.99 at Whole Foods. So since we started this keto snack haul on all things that are crunchy, the next keto snack idea that I have for you from Whole Foods is continuing with that tradition and that is the pork cracklings from Epic. So these are a little different than the pork rinds, which I just showed you guys. The back of the package explains exactly what the difference is between a crackling and a pork rind is. A crackling is a fried pork skin taken from the shoulder region of a hog. This part of the hog has a harder, crispier bite than a pork rind. Lastly, cracklings contain small pieces of meat that adhere to the skin. This adds extra flavor to your new favorite snack. There's also more fat in the cracklings than there is the rinds, and there's also less protein in this bag. So the macros on every serving of pork cracklings, a little bit more keto friendly. It's 90 calories, eight grams of fat, less than a gram of carbs, and five grams of protein. So like I said, those macros are more aligned to the keto diet 
than the pork rinds are. And again, another clean keto snack here. The ingredients on the cracklings, it's just pork skins, jalapeno peppers, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and cilantro. That's all that's inside this bag. So some pretty clean ingredients here. Open this guy up, do a taste test. Spicy, spicy. You definitely can smell the jalapeno in there. Also, the cracklings are a shade of green, so you can see the jalapeno that's baked in the crackling. Mmm, whoa, whoa. So much flavor, so flavorful. Even more melts in your mouth than a pork rind is. These are creamier and butterier. I don't even think that's a word, but they are than a pork rind is. So much more flavor, like a deeper flavor to these than pork rinds. If you love pork rinds, you gotta give these cracklings a try because it's a whole different level of deliciousness. Do you think pork rinds are delicious? These are even more delicious, like, wow. And they're definitely spicy. This jalapeno is no joke. These have a kick to them. After I ate that, there was still like some fire that was left in my throat from that pork crackling, but in a good way, like a good kick. I really enjoy these a lot. Once again, forgot to tell you guys the price, $3.99 a bag at Whole Foods. So the last crunchy keto snack idea that I have for you guys are the jalapeno parm crisps. I didn't plan it this way, it just kind of happened that we did jalapeno and jalapeno. But uh, yeah, jalapeno parm crisps, another clean keto snack idea. Only two ingredients here, Parmesan cheese and jalapenos. That's all that's in this bag. Also the macros on parm crisps, really great. 100 calories, seven grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, so another carb-free keto snack idea, and nine grams of protein. Parm crisps were actually in my keto target snack haul, and if you saw that one, you remember me saying that these are great not just for snacking, but you could add them to a salad as almost like croutons in a salad, add them to soups like oyster crackers and soups, or you could kind of add them to a sandwich like you would eat chips in a sandwich. So I like parm crisps, but I've never had the jalapeno flavor of these, so I'm really excited to try them. I do like to stack my parm crisps though. I think this is the best technique to eat these. You have to stack them, you get maximum crunchiness to your parm crisps if you stack them like this. Then you gotta stick your pinky out because it says sophisticated snacking on the package. So this is sophistication here. Mmm, the crunchiness. I love the crunchiness. These are definitely not as spicy as the pork cracklings are. Doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Just don't expect a ton of jalapeno or a ton of heat from these jalapeno parm crisps. So even if you're somebody who doesn't like a ton of heat, you'll be able to handle these just fine. And if you're wondering how much each bag costs, this is a 1.75 ounce bag and Whole Foods is charging $3 a bag. We are now moving on to some non-crunchy snack ideas. The first of which is the Ayobayo, I hope I said that right, Biltong Beef Jerky. This is sugarless beef jerky, which is a rarity when you're looking for jerkies, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know. So if you're looking for a clean keto jerky option, this stuff is probably the stuff you wanna look for. The ingredients here, beef, sea salt, coriander, Worcestershire, Worcestershire? Worcestershire, sir? Wor Worcestershire? Worcestershire? Wor Worcestershire? Worcestershire. <laughs> How do I pronounce Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Worcestershire powder, which is just salt, tomato, tamarind, natural flavor, and citric acid, pepper, and vinegar. That is all that is in here. So totally clean ingredients. As far as the macros go, they're for the entire package. It's 180 calories, five grams of fat, less than one gram of carbs, and 31 grams of protein. So once again, the protein to fat ratio, it's a little higher in here than you'd like it to be for the keto diet, but that's easily taken care of by just eating more fat and less protein throughout the rest of the day. And just making sure that at the end of the day, you end up with the right macro ratios for the keto diet. So this is an authentic South African beef jerky recipe. That's what the bag says. Mmm, that was delicious. Smoky, chewy, salty, but not too salty, like some jerkies can be too salty. This stuff is a lot less salty than a lot of jerkies that I've had, but still a ton of flavor. As far as the price goes on this Ayobayo jerky, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, it is $7.99 a bag. So the Ayobayo beef jerky was actually a great lead in to the next snack idea that I have for you, and that is the epic venison steak 
jerky. Now, not all of Epic's jerkies are keto friendly. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for these. This venison jerky though, it is keto friendly. It's also a clean keto jerky option. The ingredients in here, grass-fed venison, grass-fed beef, sea salt, cracked pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. It really doesn't get more clean than that as far as jerky goes. As far as the macros go on here, every serving is 90 calories, five grams of fat, less than a gram of carbs, and 11 grams of protein. So once again, the protein to fat ratio, it's a little high in here, but it's not that big of a deal. The most important thing is just like we said, at the end of the day that you end up with the right macro ratios and right macro amounts for the keto diet. That's the most important thing. And you could easily snack on this stuff and still hit the ratios and macros that you're trying to hit. Venison steak. Gotta say, I'm a big fan of a lot of these companies putting the Ziploc mechanism on all of their bags, like this Epic jerky bag has the Ziploc component to it as well. Love it. That way it's easier not to make a mess out of this stuff. And also it's just easier to keep whatever you're trying to keep fresh because you don't have to get the Ziploc bag to keep it fresh. Chewy, meaty, salty, incredibly peppery, spicy because of all the black pepper. If you're a fan of classic peppery kind of jerkies, this is the jerky you wanna choose instead of the Ayobayo just because the Ayobio didn't have as much of a peppery flavor as this stuff did. And as far as the price of the jerky, it's $5.99 a bag. The Epic Venison Bar is the next keto snack idea that I have for you. And just like the Epic Jerky, not all of these Epic Bars are keto friendly. I took a look at a few of the Epic Bars and some of them have a lot of sugar added to them. So just be aware of that if you're gonna buy these bars. This venison one though is totally keto friendly. Every one of these bars is 80 calories, three grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. As a lot of you guys know, I love when things have portion control automatically built into them like this bar does because I don't have the temptation of overeating. And as somebody who struggles with portion control, using stuff like this throughout the day can really help me stay on track and I love that about this bar. And as far as the price goes on this, it's $2.50 a bar. I don't know how anybody opens these. Meaty, salty, smoky, and there's just a great mix and balance of all the spices that are in the stick. You get the celery, the onion, the garlic powder, all of it just works really well together and it makes for a really delicious meat stick. My next snack for you guys can be found next to the canned tuna fish and the olives, and that is the Gaia Olive Snack Pack. This is the chili and cracked pepper olive snack pack. The macros on every serving of these, which is four olives, is 15 calories, one and a half grams of fat, less than a gram of carbs, and zero grams of protein. Once again, I would consider this a clean keto snack option. The only ingredients in this olive snack pack are olives, salt, lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, chili flakes, and black pepper. That's all that's in here. So very clean ingredients. And as far as the price goes on these olives, it's $2.69 for the package. Mmm. Wow. So much flavor. That is delicious. Also, if spicy stuff is not your thing, don't worry about these olives being too spicy for you because they're not very spicy at all, but they are very delicious though. Next up, we have the Gimme Organic Toasted Sesame roasted seaweed. That was a lot to say. If I'm being honest with you guys, I have tried to enjoy roasted seaweed in the past and it just wasn't my thing, but I included it in my snack haul because I know there's actually quite a few people who like roasted seaweed as a snack. So I wanted to include it in my snack haul because it does make a great keto snack option. The macros per serving in this package, there are two servings, it's 25 calories, two grams of fat, one gram of carbs, one of which is fiber, so zero net carbs, and one gram of protein. And as far as the price goes on this, it's $1.50 per package at Whole Foods. It's actually not too bad. I actually think I kinda like this now. The only thing is, it's not crunchy enough for me. I wish it was crunchier, so I'm gonna like stack them. I've got five of them right now. A little better. I'm happy that I tried it again after a few years because I really was dead set on thinking that I didn't like dried seaweed, but this toasted sesame kind, you really get a nice flavor to the seaweed with the sesame and I love sesame oil. So 
I could totally get behind this, especially because it is zero net carbs and it is really low in calories. So my last and final keto snack idea from Whole Foods that I have for you guys, it's found in the bulk section. It is the Brahmi chili and lime lupini beans. Personally, I think lupini beans make an amazing sit on the couch and watch some Netflix and just kind of veg out and snack on something kind of snack. That's because you can eat a ton of lupini beans for not a lot of calories and for zero net carbs. Every serving of these is 25 beans and in 25 beans is 60 calories, one gram of fat, five grams of carbs, but five grams of fiber, so that's zero net carbs and seven grams of protein. And as far as the price goes on these, it's $3.50 a package at Whole Foods. Mmm. So these are salty, they're cheesy, there's a nutty flavor to them. There's a nice hint of lime to these. As far as the chili goes though, they're not very spicy, so don't worry, don't be scared about these because they're not very spicy at all. So that's my Whole Foods Keto Snack Haul. I hope I was able to give you guys some new keto snack ideas that maybe you haven't thought of before to bring to work, to school, uh, to the movie theater and snack on in there and sneak those in, or just to bring with you when you're traveling. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.